Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Super. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the Beauchat Men's Fossier Wetsuit. So this version, because it comes in a few different versions, this in particular is the five millimeter full suit without a hood, so just a traditional full length wetsuit. Um, nice and warm, nice and stretchy as well. It's got a uh, very particular blend of neoprene that I'll talk about a little bit later. Um, that's gives you plenty of flexibility and movement lots of little features all over it just make it quite comfortable and very ergonomic uh, made specifically for scuba divers um, lots of little features you've got all this uh, sort of detailing to hold your bcd in position uh, a dedicated dive computer device that holds your dive computer in the correct place um, all sorts of features all over it. i'm going to break them all down here uh, let's take a closer look at each and every one of them so starting up around your neck you uh, the first thing that you see is that you have this zipper that comes straight down your neck this is a comfort zipper you get a little toggle and then you can open that up it's gusseted so there's another section of neoprene underneath it so it's not just water's going to flush straight in but you have this comfort collar so thinner neoprene this is only like two mil neoprene so it's nice and stretchy so that has the the benefits of it's always gonna to be touching your neck, but it's not gonna to be too bulky. Some divers, they don't like too much around their neck because it, it just sort of cuts off blood flow and it's uncomfortable. So it is quite nice to have a bit of breathing room around there. But if you do that and you open it up, you're just gonna allow water to just flow in. So you don't want that. This is the best of both worlds. It's still creating that effective seal. On the inside, you have this smooth glide skin like material. So that's sealing against your skin, slowing the water from getting in but it's much thinner so it's quite comfortable in front of your throat and then you can control pretty much how tight it is with that zipper and the velcro around the back that i'll talk about later moving down the shoulders so the shoulders have this polyurethane detailing all over it you get these flashes of green and then the black underneath it so these are protecting the outside uh, layer of the neoprene from wear and tear of your bcd straps but they're also adding a bit of extra grip for your shoulder straps to hold them in position so instead of the smooth uh, like traditional uh, outer layer of the wetsuit your shoulder strap is going to hold in place instead of sliding around so your beastie is going to move with you in the water moving down the arms down to the the inside of your elbow you have this uh, sort of different type of neoprene. So this is more ergonomic. You can see it's shaped to bend around your arm, but it also means that you can bend your arm a bit easier. It's not gonna bunch up inside of your elbow and, uh, and get uncomfortable. Down towards the wrist, on the left-hand wrist, you have this section here. So this is your universal computer holder. Uh, this is a separate section of neoprene that you can basically thread onto the underside of your dive computer. And then on the underside of that, you have a section of Velcro, and then that sticks to this section of Velcro on the suit. That way, when you put your dive computer on, it holds it in position. It means it's not gonna be rolling around your wrist up or down, it's gonna stay in place. It also means that if you're trying to use a, a buckle, you can literally stick your dive computer onto it and then flip it over because it's not going anywhere with the Velcro and then you can do, do the buckle yourself. It makes life a lot easier. Just next to that, you have a zipper. Uh, the zipper sort of opens up this section. So you have two separate sections of neoprene, this internal one, this uh, section of sleeve, and this has glide skin on the outside. That means that if you're diving with a pair of neoprene gloves, you can tuck the, uh, the cuff of the glove underneath this outer section of, uh, of neoprene. It can stick and seal to this glide skin material. And then when you've got your gloves on, you zip it up and that really makes it hard for the water to get in. So your hands are staying nice and warm and it's quite a slow way for water to get into your suit. Looking at the right hand cuff, pretty much the same, uh, except you don't have that dive computer uh, saver device. Uh, what you do have is this um, sort of hologram, which is actually quite cool. I've never seen that on a wetsuit before. Um, doesn't really have any function uh, that I'm aware of, but it's just kind of cool to look at. Otherwise, the, the cuff is very much the same. On the underside here, we have uh, five millimeter men's size small, uh, and then the thermal class, so this is a class C. Uh, that's pretty um, standard as far as a, uh, a five mil wetsuit goes. C is pretty good for a five mil. 
Moving down the chest, you can see more of this detailing, the Beauchat logo, France 1934, that's when they were founded. Um, and then underneath your armpits, you see a big open panel and more of that um, uh, sort of corrugated, I suppose you'd call it, uh, neoprene, but a big open panel. There's no single uh, seam that goes straight underneath your, your armpit to be uncomfortable. You have two separate ones either side. And all of this stitching is blind stitch. So that stitching that goes into the neoprene and instead of going all the way through it kind of goes halfway and then doubles back on itself so it doesn't create a channel for water to go all the way through the neoprene so it's stitching it together but it's not allowing water to go straight through so again it's keeping you um, slowing that water down from getting into your suit down towards the uh, the waist of the suit and on your right hand hip you have a, a hood holder uh, just a small little d-ring you can tuck it away um, if you don't want it to uh, to catch on anything but that's just a small little d-ring with uh, a lot of hoods nowadays that actually have a small clip at the uh, the base of the neck so that at the end of the dive or even at the beginning of the dive whenever your hood is off you can click it you can clip it onto your hip so it's still attached but it frees up your hands to do everything else that you need to do um, it's just a convenient place just to have a, a small little attachment point but when it's not in use it, is, it doesn't get in the way or anything it is nice and compact Moving further down, down towards the crotch, uh, so pretty traditional diamond shaped crotch in there, so lots of uh, sort of finning isn't going to get too uncomfortable. And then down towards the knees, we have this super trex outer layer, so that's a little bit tougher external lining to, to protect the knees from wear and tear, especially if you're doing training um, and you are sort of on the bottom or doing anything on the bottom, then uh, it's going to protect the knees from, uh, from repeated wear. And more of this corrugated knee print so in the behind your ankles sorry correction uh, behind your knee um, it just allows your knees to, uh, to bend a bit more comfortably down at the bottom of the legs these are similar to your wrist cuffs uh, you've got fascia comforts in uh, that polyurethane but you also have these uh, these zippers it's a nice long zipper that separate internal uh, neoprene sleeve and the glide skin on the outside so when you're wearing boots the boots go over that seal against it and then this external layer of neoprene can then be zipped over the top of your boots to really yeah, sort of create an effective seal and slow the water from getting down in there. Now turning the suit over onto its back <clears throat> Starting up around the neck again, we have a section of Velcro uh, that uh, sticks over the uh, around the back of your neck. So again, you can adjust how tight it is around your neck. And this is that modern um, Velcro, so it's not scratchy. It's um, is quite smooth to touch, except like right on the edges. So that's going to help um, when you're like stowing your wetsuit away. It's not going to be catching on itself. A metal zipper on there with the Cordell Marlin logo on it. And the zipper is where the uh, the fascia makes a real difference on a lot of other wetsuits. All the way down, you can see we have this water dam material. Now, this isn't unusual for a wetsuit to have a separate section of flush guard of neoprene underneath the zipper. What this does is it has two interlocking layers and that really slows the water down because when it's done up and then it's against your back, they kind of knit together and they create a very effective seal at slowing water down. They actually did a video on it where they basically filled up a, a wetsuit with water, zipped it up and then it was really slow, all of that water to finally find its way Way out so that's pretty good for a uh, for a wetsuit not a semi dry um, it's a very very effective seal so you're not going to get that sudden uh, sort of rush down your back it's uh, is a very effective at slowing that water down before it actually gets to you on the inside of the suit we have this fire skin lining so in this version it's bright green um, which is pretty funky but this is it's Trying to think of an analogy, it's it's kind of towel -y. it's like those microfiber towels. So it doesn't have a huge pile count, so it's not thick and fluffy, but it is quite fluffy and it's very absorbent. So that's quite good in, as soon as the water does get in, it 
immediately sort of sticks to the inside of the suit. Your body heat naturally warms that water up when it's actually against your skin and then it holds it so it's not flushing in and around the suit because that's why you get cold. As long as it has um, it, it sort of traps that water and holds it in position, it's going to be keeping you warmer much more effectively than just allowing the water to just flush in and around the suit. Um, moving further down, you see um, just more detailing and, uh, and information about the, uh, the Alaskan. Um, so this is a mixture of 8.8 .8 and 6.8. So all that basically means is the difference. It's, um, it's a balance between how compression resistant and how stretchy it is. It's always a trade off. If it's stretchy, then it tends to compress at depth, which we don't really want for a, uh, a scuba wetsuit because it's going to get colder. But you need to be able to move around in it. So this is a combination of the two. So the bigger panels kind of around the kidneys here is going to be the 8.8, .8, so that's a bit more compression resistant. But up around the joints is going to be the, uh, the sort of the 6.8, which allows a bit more flexibility. Down towards the seat over your bum, uh, you have more of this uh, sort of detailing on the outside. This, when it gets wet, it becomes almost sticky. Um, not sticky and that stuff is gonna stick to your bum, but if you sit down on something, it's really gonna plant you there and hold you in position. So on the wet side of a rib, if it's moving around, your wetsuit is going to help you stay in position so you're not slipping and sliding all over the place. And that's the Beauchat Fossia wetsuit, a very strong 5mm wetsuit. It's that good combination of it's flexible enough to be really easy to put on, move around in, but it's compression resistant so at depth you're still going to stay nice and warm. Lots of little features all over it. I like that, um, that dive computer thing that holds your dive computer in place so it doesn't shift around. Um, I do like those double zipper seals. I used those on a wetsuit years and years ago and it does make a big difference when you're layering up for colder water diving. But yeah, it is an all over a nice feel premium suit. It's very comfortable and um, yeah, effective at keeping you warm, which is exactly what you want from a wetsuit. There's going to be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's going to be a link to this in particular down in the description below so you can check it out and read up more about it and then buy it from us at Simply Scuba. Thank you for watching, everybody, and of course, safe diving. Thank you.